Looking for a fox-like dog? Dogs are the descendants of wolves and are classified as a subspecies of the gray wolf. Foxes are omnivorous mammals belonging to several genera of the Canidae family. Because of their close genetic similarity dogs and foxes share many physical traits. Domesticated dogs are reliable pets and companions. Foxes are not reliable as pets, but if you long to run with the foxes, I'd suggest getting a dog that looks like a fox instead. You can use this video to help decide which one would be the best fit for you. Before going into the video, you need to grab my free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. Now let's get into today's video. 1. The Finnish Spitz The Finnish Spitz is a medium-sized dog of a non-sporting group originating in Finland. Finnish Spitz are the national dogs of Finland. They were bred to hunt, and are known as bark pointers. Barking is a major part of its hunting activity, as it is a way to signal the hunter that the dog has located prey in the forest. A Spitz has a square build, red coat, and small, ascendant ears that give it a fox-like look. Finnish Spitz is an intelligent, active, alert, and lively dog that tends to be protective of its owners and aloof with strangers. 2. Dole The Dole, or Indian Wild Dog, is also known as a Red Dog or Red Fox Dog. This dog is not a canid from the family of Canis familiaris. It's a canid of Kuan Alpinus. It is native to Central, South, and Southeast Asia. Dole has a look like the Indian and Arabian Fox. Tolls are very similar to African Wild Dogs. They can kill a prey up to 10 times their own size. They have high running speed of about 34 miles per hour. This species can jump 7 feet straight up into the air, and skilled swimmers. Dole dogs are highly social animals and live in packs of between 8 to 12 dogs. They are classed as endangered dogs. 3. Korean Jindo Dogs Jindo dogs originated from Jingo Island, Korea. These medium-sized, athletic, and sturdy dogs are available in almost any color, white, yellow, red, red and white, tan, tan and white, black, black and tan, and brindle coats. Red and white with tan-colored jindos look like Asian red foxes. Usually, a jindo is a stubborn dog with a mind of its own, but they like being with the family and owner. They are territorial dogs and do not like other pets in their territory. Jindos need regular walks or exercise. A minimum of 30-minute, brisk walks are necessary for this dog. If they are not getting sufficiently exercised they may become stubborn. 4. Indian Spits Indian Spits are one among the most intelligent dog breeds. They are small or medium-sized Indian home dogs. These dogs are very active, alert, and naturally healthy dogs that are very suitable for extreme weather, like that of the Indian subcontinent. Indian Spits are very similar to the German Spits in appearance, and look like a small fox. They are very bright dogs that love to be around family and kids, but do not welcome other pets. Indian Spits are still not recognized by any major kennel club, but they are identified as a separate Indian breed by the Kennel Club of India. 5. Alaskan Klee Kai Alaskan Klee Kai were developed in the 1970s to create elapsed-sized versions of the Husky. In 1988 they got recognition by most of kennel clubs. They are energetic, intelligent, playful, and very energetic dogs that love to be around their family. They are commonly friendly, but can be aloof and cautious around strangers. Alaskan Klee Kai don't welcome outsiders openly like Siberian Huskies do. These dogs are available in many colors, including black and white, gray and white, red and white, and all white. A red and white Alaskan Klee Kai is rare and looks very similar to a red fox. 6. Japanese Shiba Inu The Shiba Inu is the smallest spitz breed from Japan. They look very similar to other Japanese dog breeds, like Akita Inu. Shiba Inu were originally bred for hunting and are one of the few ancient dog breeds still in existence in the world today. Shiba dogs are alert, confident, courageous, and bold. They are loving, kind, easily trainable, and brave dogs. These dogs are good with children and other pets and are not hostile with guests or strangers. 7. Volpino Italiano Volpino Italiano are small spitz type dogs originally from Italy. In spite of its small size, this dog was originally kept as a guard dog. It is very energetic and lively. Volpino's job was to alert the large mastiffs to an intruder. For some unfortunate reason, Volpino Italiano were about to die out around 1965. Only five dogs from this breed were left. But efforts to protect them were quite successful, 
and in 2006 approximately 2,000 dogs of this breed were counted. Most are in Italy, but they are also bred in Scandinavia, the UK, and the US. In 2006 this dog was recognized by the UK Kennel Club and is now registered with most renowned kennel clubs. Volpino Italiano looked very much like White Arctic Fox. 8. American Eskimo Dog The American Eskimo is a small dog from the Spitz family. Originating in Germany and bought to America in the 1930s, these were circus dogs. American Eskimo Dog is an intelligent, friendly, alert, and protective breed. With their straight, wedge-shaped ears and distinctive black points, lips, nose, and eye rims, these dogs have a look like the white Arctic fox. They are also among the most trustworthy dogs to keep around children, and are considered a most reliable and loving companion dog. 9. Long-Haired Chihuahua The Chihuahua is smallest dog in the world. Originating in Mexico in 1850, these dogs are eccentric at their disposition. This dog is best suited for warm climates. Chihuahuas require minimal grooming and exercise, making them a good choice for older owners. Chihuahua is an intelligent dog breed. These dogs enjoy playing with toys and being around family members. The KC in the United Kingdom and the AKC in the United States recognize two varieties of Chihuahua, the long coat and the short haired or short coated. These dog is available almost in all colors, but the long haired red Chihuahua looks very similar to a small red fox. 10. Icelandic Sheepdog Icelandic Sheepdog is a very healthy dog breed of Spitz type. As its name suggests, this dog originated from Iceland and is an ancestor of the Shetland Sheepdog and the Welsh Corgi. This is a very active breed that needs daily exercise and walking. These dogs don't like to be left alone, as they have home alone anxiety concerns. Icelandic Sheepdogs are friendly with other pets and outsiders, but need to be socialized at an early age. They're upward facing, Triangular ears and red fur with white and tan patches make them look a lot like a fox. 11. Cuxa Dog Cuxa, or Amerindian Malamutes, are native to the United States and are wolf hybrids. These dogs are very alert, quick, and intelligent. They learn exceptionally quickly. Cuxa is born travelers. Their long legs and strong bodies are well suited to carrying heavy loads across long distances. Because they're only recently domesticated, they are very independent with lots of spirit. Though Kuksha is loyal and protective to owners, is not a good dog for families with small children due to a predatory nature. The coat color, erect ears, and lean body give them the look of tan arctic fox, but they also resemble wolves. And don't forget to check out my free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching.